just observing on social media so with that let's get started so here you can see the price action for nkla we started in may there's still vtiq at this point with the holdings firm for those of you that are this year uh, and with that the price just a few days later just skyrockets over here all the way up so you can see you, if you can catch this action you get into the 20 34 dollar range and then you just shoot up into the past the 90 dollars and some people actually caught this thing all the way from 13 and sold here so you can see where those people made uh, substantial amounts of money i think it was around the 500 percent range and that that is actually unheard of for any traditional stock would be around 10 percent would be considered good i think uh, disney just went up eight percent today and it's taken them months uh, to kind of wake up and and return any money so that's just an example of of the power of these uh ipos and the special acquisition uh, the ones that are come out through a blank check check company that you know the investor uh, believes in nicola and and there you have it so uh, i think they rent they lent nicola uh, quite a substantial amount of money or merge with them actually is what technically happened so there you have it you see this big bounce and then what happens after this is rather tragic and i will go over what i've been observing on social media so the the rumor started and then it launched ipo and then people started hearing about it right around here and into here the 70 dollar range and then they just started buying shares is what I noticed. Uh, you know, the retail investors, whoever heard of Nicola with the Badger and the big hype around, you know, the pre-orders and I don't even know. I think you at most had to put a couple hundred bucks if that. I think they might not have even charged and you could cancel at any time. So the, it was... Uh, interesting deal there the marketing i must say was solid you know the pictures of the badger everything was pretty solid but overall the execution of it it's all it's they still have to execute the badger and what by that i mean put it into production have it pass all the testing have the government okay it in the united states i think they're they're trying to do the Nicola one, Nicola two, and Nicola tray semi trucks as well. Trying to do some uh, water sport altering vehicles. Uh, looks like some military application vehicles, <clears throat> which is fine. You know, I'm not saying it's not going to happen, but pain holding on to the stock you know past the 70 dollar mark was is real tricky business and i'll i'll tell you a little bit more why and also as i mentioned i had tried to put out information so that people would have would have it and be educated when they were trading nicola so let's go into the fundamentals and the financials of Nikola Motor but here you know it's important to note this price action so it held into the $70 range and then after that it just dropped and dropped and dropped and I'm going to explain why that is 
and then it looks like it's been trying to bounce back, but then dropping even further. And we're right along. We are right aligned with the IPO price. I think it opened at at uh, around thirty four dollars. So we're right back there. So whoever paid thirty four dollars and is still hanging on to it, they might be okay. And that's what I had mentioned early July. Um, for the 4th of July, I made a video um, kind of discussing that. So here you have it. You've got year-to-date 239% performance. So if, if you had held bot low, um, you'd still be okay. I apologize for the lighting. I'm actually trying to do this in a quiet spot and the sun is setting at the same time. So we'll uh, have to improve on that. But here you can see for the month is down 12% and the moving averages are all down except for the 200 day moving average that's still up 64%. Um, but you see where the, there's no earnings there's no quick ratio there's no current ratio that means you know there's just a lot of data missing from this company you know nobody knows what the future holds there's no trend there's nothing there's nothing really to to follow here um, you know it's all it's all in a in a sense wishful thinking um, you know that's not to say that they, it won't it won't live up to the hype, you know, I'm, I'm not saying that, but I'm just saying there are no fundamentals to support uh, the price paid. And look, here's a key thing here. So this hundred, this 360 million in June, this when it launched an IPO, actually there was only 124 million shares outstanding right per the contract there's always been 360 million dollars i understand that i get it but the share float share float was only 24 million shares at the beginning of june when it launches ipo now look at it now the security exchange commission said because you were above $24, I can't remember, for 30, the 30 consecutive days of trading, you are now allowed to dump the other 100 and some million, 150 million or so shares into the market. So we're gonna, your complete shares outstanding after, uh, after the first 30 days, so you can see here, uh, you're still safe under the $70 mark right around the end of uh, June and then the start of Ju uh, right around June and then you get into the start of uh, July and then boom the share price just comes tumbling down well there you have it after 30 days they were allowed to um, to put those shares out I had to turn on the light. It was getting kind of dark in here. So, yeah, at the beginning of July, you can see the this 124 million shares outstanding turns into the full 360 uh, per the 10, 10K filings. Uh, you can read all about it if you want. You can research that. As always, do your own due diligence. Consult your financial advisor and never listen to a random guy on YouTube for financial advice. But now where do we stand? Now, you know, I wanted to talk about what I've been seeing on social media. There's uh, quite a few popular pages for Nikola Motor. So now we're at this $35 mark, right? And people want to jump in. Well, there's a steady support here for somewhere around the $30 range. And that's what I would have been comfortable with 
and I actually own this stock from the 30, the low $30 range up, up here and then 70. And then I started to read the 10 K filing because something just wasn't right. And that's where I came up with the rules from the security exchange commission on pricing and share uh, regulations for IPOs. So I hope that is of help to anyone and you know, this has been a learning experience and I hope it, it's, it, it helps somebody who is going to participate in one of many uh, SPAC opportunities. I could go on and on. We've got Lordstown Motor. We've got uh, Helion with, through SHLL ticker symbol. We've got uh, SPAC uh, launching the Ocean SUV. Uh, through SPAQ, uh, Workhorse, uh, WKHS, but Workhorse I, uh, is, not a, is not a spec, so correction on that. But still, you want to be careful with, with these things because they have, the, the, they have been shooting up, and as, as they shoot up, they can definitely shoot back down. So that's all I wanted to cover. I really hope it is of help to somebody. Um, please do your own due diligence and, and uh, that's uh, what I wanted to cover. So thank you for watching. If this video has been of any benefit or value, please like, subscribe, hit the notification bell. I will be doing more research and have been doing research on multiple companies uh, that I find interesting and exciting, or it could be of any kind of educational benefit or an entertainment to anyone else. All right. Have a good rest of your day, wherever you are in the world. Thank you for watching.